Hello, I'm Bruna Tornikis and I will present a paper on the identification and turning of a closed looping automatic a closed loop automatic control by the Ziegler Nichols method of a self-balanced robot, such as partial evaluation of the discipline control and automation of chemical process 2, administrated by the professor Renate Dutra Pereira Filho of the Chemical Engineering course of the Federal University of Rio Grande. The present paper aims to design, implement, assemble, turn and evaluate the performance of an automatic controller in proportional pure and proportional integral derivative feedback strategy in the position form for position control of a self-balanced self robot. The materials used in the experiment were a two-wheel axle coupled to legal pieces, a microcontroller Arduino Nano, a protoboard, a step motor 28BYJ48 plus an ULN 2003 chip, and a gyroscope and an, an accelerometer and gyroscope NPU 6050. The self balancing robot construction is constituted by a structure assembled from, from Lego pieces with a two wheel axle at its bottom. The axle being connected by gears to the step motor and it's connected to an ULN 2003 chip, which in turn makes, make, makes the step motor connection to the Arduino Nano microcontroller coupled to a protoboard plus an MPU 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope module. The step motor used in the experiment works by applying specific voltages to each of the motor coils, causing it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise with greater or lesser speed. This experiment uses, uses the controller module coupled to an ULN 2003 chip, which in turn is a CI current driver, allowing then the use in motors requiring currents up to five, 500 milliampers in Arduino microcontrollers, which support a maximum current of 50 milliampers per port. Remembering that this chip only helps to manage the voltage and the current for the ports. So, all the programming logic and sequence of, the co of coils that must be triggered is controlled by the Arduino or other controller that wants to be used. Its calibration in this present experiment was not performed since it's not necessary to know the voltage given to the coils or the associated torque. The accelerometer and gyroscope is a high precision component that counts on the measurement of seven magnitudes, being then three accelerations and three rotations of the axis X, Y and Z plus a temperature sensor that measures a range of minus 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. The temperature sensor became unnecessary for the present experiment, but it is interesting to emphasize it, its existence in the module since this type of sensor is also used in drones where the temperature is a relevant factor for the proper functioning of the equipment. The sensor connection 
with the Arduino controller is shown in the picture, where the VCC and the ground are connected to the 5 volts and the ground of the Arduino. The SCL of the board is connected to the port A4 and the SCD uh, SDA to the port A5. It is ignored for this experiment the INT connection of the sensor on the digital port 2 of the Arduino because it is referring to the temperature reading. For the calibration of the position sensor, only the magnitude involved in the movement of the robot was taken, which is the acceleration of the y-axis. Keeping the static robot with the aid of a vertical stand, the readings presented in the chart were made. By averaging the, the, the values obtained, then the set point was found with a gross value shown in the, the screen representing the vertical axis or 19 degrees. This was the code used to calibrate the accelerometer. The closed loop tuning was performed then by, Ziegler, by the Ziegler Nichols method by defining the parameters Kc, tau i, and tau d for the proportional pure and proportional integral derivatives according to the table presented. Thus, it is necessary to deter determine the ultimate gain, Ku, and the ultimate period, Pu. For the determination of the ultimate gain of the controller, the Kc was then varied using the code of the proportional pure automatic control system until the robot obtained a satisfactory response before the blocking of the step motor. This value was found to be equal to minus 0.1125. The ultimate period of the controller was found then by timing the action time of the step motor correction to reach the set point. <clears throat> this value, timed value, was found, was found by being 0.2 seconds. Through the values of KU and PU, the parameters KC, tau i, and tau d were calculated for the P and PID controls presented in the table. By implementing the value of KC shown on the screen, the proportional pure control code presented It was observed that the robot remained in the set point in a satisfactory way, as seen in the video. And then, using the proportional integral derivative control, the values of Kc, tau i, and tau d shown on the screen were entered in the PID control code presented. Where it was observed that the robot also remained in the set point in a satisfactory manner, as shown in the video.
After the results of the control modes were obtained, the analysis of the parameters through the integral error criteria IASE, IAE, and ITSE was performed by means of the equations pre presented in order to de determine which mode of control has the best results. For this, the errors for each type of controller were read and the criteria shown in the table, table were cal calculated. In order to compare the integral error cri criteria, the graphs are shown in the pictures. For ISE, for IAE, and for ITSE. Thus, the experiment proposed in the paper was successful, successfully performed. The tuning of the closed looping system using the Ziegler Nichols method obtained satisfactory and visually similar results in both controls studied. By the analysis of the integral error criteria, the difference between the controls could be identified, highlighting the pure proportional controller as the system that obtained the best results. Thanks.